I'm Kendra Little from Redgate. And today I want to share with you a really cool website that was recommended to me that can help you learn Git. Now, just to be really clear, this is a website that was not built by Redgate. This is a recommendation for a website built by Peter Cottle. When you look at this site, at the very top right of the site, there's a button that goes to the GitHub repo behind the site. And you'll see that Peter Cottle is the owner of this repository. Now, there have been other contributors to this as well. So thanks to everyone who built this website. I think it's really, really cool. So the site is learngitbranching.js.org. And when you come to the site, you don't have to create a login or anything like that. In fact, if we refresh this, it'll show just the startup experience for the site is that it gives us a nice welcome dialog that explains what the site is all about. It is an interactive way to learn Git on the web. You don't have to install anything. And it gamifies this, and in my opinion, makes this really fun. If you're a beginner, just go ahead and start. The thing that I wanna make clear here is that some people think, oh, well, branching, sounds advanced, so I should try to learn Git, and then later I should learn branching. Dive right in. Branching is an essential part of Git. This is really beginner friendly. Just go ahead and get started here. Now, if at any time you get lost in here, a couple navigation tips. Let's say I hit escape a couple of times and the menus are gone because I wasn't sure what I was doing at first. Took me a sec to notice this. In the bottom right of the screen, there is a helpful little menu that has a question mark on it. When you click on that question mark, it brings up a way that you can get back to that list of what are all the levels. So if you get lost, click the little question mark, get to the level screen. When you're inside an individual level, this can also be a really nice menu to have as well because maybe you want to reset that level and start again at the beginning. Maybe you wanna undo your last move. Maybe you wanna reread what the objective is or even take a peek at the solution before you try it again. This menu at the bottom right helps you with that. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that levels button and get it back. And you can see that I have already been having a great time playing around in here. Just to show you a little taste of how this works and to encourage you to go ahead and get started, we're gonna go ahead and do level number one together here. You can redo levels, that's totally fine. Each level starts out with some educational stuff for you to read through. Really high quality stuff. So I have found myself actually enjoying reading the information and not just rushing to play the game. There's also a little demo that happens with each level where we can, whatever commands we're being taught, we can say, oh, what happens when I click this and then see in the diagram on the right, what does running this command do to move along the status in the diagram? I think this is another really useful thing about this interactive module is not only does it help you learn to use Git? It also gets you used to looking at diagrams of Git and understanding, okay, what does it look like to have these commits mapped out? What does it look like if we have branches? That's also really useful as you're building your skills and you're looking at blog posts and books and information about Git around the web, there will be a lot more diagrams. So getting used to the diagrams, also a really useful skill to build. So here we're at the point where it says try out lesson one. And it gives us some instructions. After the window closes, make two commits to complete the level. And we click that box there. Now, here's how it loads up. Over here, I have a goal to reach box. I can drag that around to make everything a little more usable. And this goal to reach is showing me this diagram in the middle, I need to make this look like the goal to reach. Over here on the left, I've got my terminal. It automatically has shown me some hints. Just type in git commit twice to finish, 
right? And it actually has some commands it's run here in terms of showing that goal box. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make a mistake first here. What if I just type get? Ah, well, I just typed get. I didn't actually give it the full command. And what I got here was I got some usage information. Let's let's scroll up there and then resume a little bit. I got some usage information about get there about the different commands that get has. Okay, well let's try again. Let's try git commit. Ah, okay, that did move this along. Now it drew another commit and added that on there and we're getting closer and closer to the goal. I also noticed that it added this command into my history here. In this left bar, we can scroll up and scroll down. We can see all of the commands that have been typed here along the way. There's also, if I want to review the instructions, I can type that instructions thing and get that back there. And of course, if I want to reset the whole thing, I can click on reset there, which you'll notice, all of those clicks I did, they were actually running commands and those show up as a history in the terminal as well. All right, so let's go ahead. I've just reset it back to the beginning. I still have this goal of making it look like this over here. So I'm gonna type git commit. I get one commit and then I'm gonna hit arrow up. Just like terminal editors, if I hit arrow up, it will bring up the last thing I typed, which I can edit if I want. In this case, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit enter to run the same thing again. And once I complete the challenge and make my commit history look like the goal, I get a message that I have solved the puzzle and it lets me know how does the number of steps I achieved this in compare to the number of steps that are in their solution. And if I have done it in more steps, then I'm challenged to uh, see if I can redo it in the, the lower amount of steps or less. I hope that this has been a fun intro. I'm gonna click back here on the levels page so you can see what's available here. I really, really think this is a fun site. It's learngetbranching.js.org. And thanks very much to Peter Cottle and the other contributors who built this site. I think it's super fun. And thanks also to Remus Rusanu who recommended this site to me. Um, I have had a great time working through it. And I think lots of you will as well.